What's up, North Park? Mr. Past here with a tutorial of our next project using a website called Chrome Music Lab. Um, here you can see my iPad screen. And before we get started, you need to make sure that your iPad is not in silent mode. So there's a little bell there, and you need to make sure that it's not crossed out. If it's crossed out, you can't hear anything. If it's not crossed out, you can. So here is Chrome Music Lab, and we're going to be doing the icon on the top left that looks like a Pac-Man ghost. It's called Song Maker. And here we are in Song Maker. So it is touch screen sensitive, and you can just drag your finger across the squares, and you can see all of these different notes we made. And when we hit play, you can hear all the different notes you made. But this doesn't really sound like a song. So let's stop that and hit restart on the top right. And let's start with this bottom section. We can create a drum beat. So there's two rows. The bottom row is circle, the top row is triangle. And you can experiment with different sounds. You can be totally random, or you can keep things on the strong beats. Your choice. And if at any point you tap something that you don't want, just tap it again and it'll disappear. But here's my little drum beat I came up with. Yep, sounds good. All right, now let's add a melody on top of that. It can be a melody of a song that you already know, or it can be something that you've made up entirely. You might recognize this. That's right, it's the Charlie Brown song, also known as Linus and Lucy. Cool, I like how that sounds with the drum beat. All right, so here's another trick now. Do you see this faint blue line in the middle? If you go above that, you will create high notes. Check it out. And when I hit play, you can hear the low notes and the high notes sounding at the same time. Cool, I like that. Now let's add some notes in the middle. Oops. There we go. All right, let's hear what that sounds like. All right, very cool. Okay, let's go through and tweak some of the finer things. Um, so you can change the instrument. Be piano. Or you can change it to strings. It can be woodwinds. Or synthesizer. Your choice. Make it sound however you want. No wrong way to do it. I'm going to go with marimba, the first one that I had. You can also change the sound of the drums too. Here's like the acoustic drum set or a normal drum set. Here's conga. I kind of like the way the conga sounds with the marimba. You can also change the speed. It can be really fast or But just like Goldilocks likes her porridge, we want it just right. Not too fast, not too slow. 
The other thing that I'll say is um, you'll notice there's more white than there is colored. Keep things simple. All right, so now time to share it. See that check mark in the bottom right corner? Click that. And here is the link that you can find your song at. So if you hit copy link, and then I'm going to choose share and Gmail. And you guessed it, you're going to send it to me, past at npeschool.org. Now that's not a very appealing title for an email, so let's delete that. We still want to keep the link in the email below that, but let's change the title of the email. My Chrome Music Lab Pro. Wait, no, let's call it song. Yeah. And then you can type in the body of the email a little message. You don't have to. But I'm going to make a little message to myself. Hi, Mr. Past. Check out my song. And how about a little music emoji? Yeah. All right, really, that's it. All you have left to do is hit that little paper airplane and send the email. Hope you found this video helpful and informative, and I can't wait to hear your Chrome Music Lab songs. Bye.